I'm Adam Anschell for Pro Football Weekly along with senior editor Eric Edholm. We take a look at the different quarterback situations around the league that need some help. We talk here about the Minnesota Vikings. They drafted Christian Ponder. I think a lot of people were surprised drafting him as high as they did, but that's their quarterback of the future. Is he the guy they go with right away, or do they bring in a veteran maybe to coach him along? You know, I've come back and forth in this. The Vikings have been very quiet. You know, they haven't yeah. really tipped their hand on what they might do in terms of a veteran. Look, somebody's going to be added. Right now, you've got Joe Webb and Christian Ponder. That's it. I don't know if they go for Donovan McNabb, though. This has been one of those sort of media-built uh, creations that's come up for a while. Remember, he was Brad Childress's guy. I mean, this was going right. back before Brett Favre was ever a Viking. I wouldn't be shocked if they're not that interested. I mean, if the Redskins are asking for a third or fourth round pick, they would say, you know what? We'll find somebody else yeah. and we'll start Ponder right from the get-go. Fits the system. He's tough and smart. Started a lot of games at Florida State. Is he injury prone? Yeah. But I wouldn't be shocked if he's a starter from week one. They're going to bring in a veteran. It's probably not going to keep Tavares Jackson. Yeah. It doesn't sound like he's not exactly the mentoring type, I don't think. So if it's going to be Ponder, Joe Webb, and fill in the blank, who might it be? You know, maybe you go with a smart veteran like a Mark Bulger once he realizes his options aren't that great if Arizona's out of the picture. Yeah. You know, Bulger's been a mentor before. You know, he backed up uh, you know, in Baltimore last year, and I think Joe Flacco probably learned something from him. He was a good soldier. Does he want to be that guy? But no, not really. Yeah. But I think he would be smart enough and compatible enough to throw into the locker room situation. Look, Joe Webb's at number three. He might have flashed some talent down the stretch, but I suspect he'll never quite get his chance at quarterback. Let's be honest, whoever gets the situation, it's a pretty good one. Yeah. You got, you're handing off to Adrian Peterson. I mean, I don't know if Sidney Rice will be back, but yeah. still enough offensive talent around that team that I don't know why you wouldn't want to. Yeah, if Sidney Rice at least gives you another year, I mean, he what a difference he makes. When he was out of the lineup last year, a completely different team. Percy Harvin, exceptional yards after the catch guy. If they can get another flanker, another guy to play on the outside, you got two good tight ends. The offensive line, I'm not crazy about, especially in the interior. Hutchinson fell off. John Sullivan's not a starting caliber center. You know, maybe the tackles play a little bit better, but all that offensive talent, yeah. boy, I'd like to play with those guys. So I'm put, putting you on the spot here. You're Rick Spielman. You have to make a decision on who your quarterback's going to be week one. Who are you getting? I think they go out and get a veteran not named Donovan McNabb. I'm, I threw Bulger out there. That's not based on any inside information. Yeah. And I wouldn't be shocked if Christian Ponder's the guy from day one. I think they feel like they don't want to throw this kid off track. They really feel, believe in this kid. I know the fans have yet to get on board with this whole thing, but they like his skills. They think he fits in perfectly with this team. I wouldn't be shocked if he's the starter week one. It would make sense. I mean, I think of all the guys that were drafted this year, yeah. we did hear that he may be the most NFL ready right now. Mm -hmm. So why not throw him in there, let him hand off a bunch, and maybe you get a few wins out of yeah. it. But anyways, the experience, I guess, in the end is what's really valuable. So what do you think? Is it Christian Ponder that should be starting from the beginning? Do they go out and get a McNabb or a Mark Bolger like Eric was talking about? Let us know. Go to our Facebook page or to Twitter and give us your opinion. And as always, you can check us out at ProFootballWeekly.com.